Today, we're gonna to show you how to get perfect details in your highlights, midtones, and shadows. We're gonna be merging an HDR in Lightroom. So today we're gonna to be creating an HDR, which means we're gonna be merging three different photographs together. Now, this whole process starts during the photo shoot. You're gonna have an option on your camera to shoot bracketed, meaning it's gonna take a picture underexposed, properly exposed, and overexposed. This is gonna make sure you have detail in your shadows, midtones, and highlights. So now that we've captured our images, it's time to import them into Lightroom. So we're starting off with this landscape photograph. I photographed this at sunset, and you can see it's a little bit difficult to get the proper exposure. In this case, we have an exposure of our rocks. In the next image, this is exposed darker. I have a lot more detail in the sky. And in the next image, I have a lot of detail here in the rocks. So to combine these together, we're gonna simply shift click all three images, right click, and we're gonna go down to photo merge and over here to HDR merge. Let's go ahead and click there. Now it's gonna go ahead and create a preview. You can see we have details in the sky, in the foreground and in the rocks. Of course, we can continue to edit this later. Now, the settings I suggest, make sure you turn on a little bit of deghost. I recommend a medium setting. This is just in case there's any movement in the photographs, it's going to blend those together seamlessly. So if you have a tree, the leaves maybe are moving back and forth in the wind, instead of creating duplicates, it's gonna deghost and make sure that it looks perfect in the final result. Okay, let's go ahead and bring that up to medium. All of these settings are great. I recommend using auto align and apply auto settings. Let's go ahead and click on merge. Now you're gonna see it's gonna perform this merge here on the top left. We're gonna get a little progress bar and then it's simply going to add this to our library. Okay, now our final image here, you can see this is our HDR. So right now it looks great. It's got a lot of potential, but we need to still edit this so we can bring out the settings. We're gonna go into our edit menu here and I'm gonna start by bringing our exposure down and as I do this, you're gonna see immediately, look at all this beautiful detail we have in the highlights midtones and shadows. Now, of course, you can go in here and continue to adjust your settings if you want. We have a little couple spots here on the camera. Let's go into our spot removal tool. We're just gonna go ahead and use make, make sure we have generative AI checked. And I'm gonna go ahead and click right here on a couple spots. Just doing some nice dust removal. There we go, let's get rid of those. All right, now when this finishes, the next thing I wanna do is straighten up our horizon a little bit. So we're gonna grab our crop tool. Let's go ahead and just click and drag just a little bit so our horizon is nice and straight. All right, we're gonna bring that in a tiny bit as well and hit enter. This looks fantastic. Honestly, already I'm loving this photograph. And you can see it has a far more information than any of the three photographs that I took. This is a com combination of all three and it looks fantastic. So now it's time to jump into a little bit of masking where we're gonna draw more attention to that sunrise. So first thing I wanna do, this sand down here in the foreground is just a little bit light in color. It's a bit drawing my eyes down. So we're gonna to go to our masking. There we go. Let's go ahead and grab a brush and I'm simply just gonna paint right over here in the sand area. There we go. Just basically targeting the sand. And since the sand is a little bit lighter than the surrounding rocks, what we're gonna do is go right in here into our light setting. I'm gonna grab our highlights and we're just gonna bring those down. You can see, look at that. Immediately, my eye is a little bit less drawn to that area down there. We wanna focus our subject's eyes, the person who's looking at this photo, onto that sunrise. Okay, now it's a sunset, my bad. Let's hit create new mask. We're gonna to go to a radial gradient and we're gonna click and drag out just like this. And I'm gonna make sure we bring our feathering all the way up. There we go. Now with this radial gradient, we're gonna bring our exposure up just a little bit and we're gonna bring our color temperature just a little bit warmer as well. It's gonna create a nice subtle light spot over here and it's gonna draw our eyes up to that sunset. Now the last thing that we're gonna do here is create a, another mask. Let's create a new mask. We're gonna go to a linear gradient. We're gonna go from the bottom down just like this and I'm gonna bring my exposure down just a tiny bit. You don't have to do this much. Just a tiny bit makes a big impact in your final image. And there we go, this looks fantastic. Let's go ahead and use the slash key. Here's the before and the after. All that incredible detail from the highlights. Look at that beautiful sunset where here we are in full detail all the way through the midtones and even into the shadows. A full amount of detail in the entire photograph and more than we've captured in any one of our original images. We have a beautiful HDR. So the next time you're photographing in a difficult lighting situation where you have bright highlights and dark shadows, 
Combining photos together with an HDR is the perfect way to get details throughout the entire exposure.